Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to draw a ggplot2 plot with lines and points in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the top right of RStudio a new data object has been created and if you click on this data frame you can see that our data contains two columns x and y and five numeric rows. So let's assume that we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package. Then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed the package already so I'm just going to load it with line six of the code and after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package such as ggplot, geomline and geompoint. So if we want to draw a ggplot2 plot with lines and points, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 8 to 10. So in these lines of code, I'm first specifying the ggplot function to initialize our plot. Within the ggplot function, I'm specifying the name of our data frame. So in this case, our data frame is called data. And then within the aesthetics of the ggplot function, I'm simply specifying the names of our two numeric columns x and y. Now if we want to draw these data as a line plot, we need to add the geomline function to our ggplot function as you can see in line 9 of the code. And if we want to draw points on top of these lines, we also need to add the geompoint function as you can see in line 10 of the code. So if we run lines 8 to 10 all together, then you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new plot has been created, which is showing our data in a line and point plot at the same time. So in this video, I have explained how to draw a ggplot2 plot with lines and points in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code that I have shown in this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.